On our websites, we present from the Bible why Jesus was not raised in the flesh, but rather with the body of spirit. 1 Peter 3 verse 18 tells us that while Jesus was put to death in the flesh, he was not raised in the flesh, but in the spirit. This is in harmony with what Peter wrote as recorded in 1 Peter 2 verse 4. Many have presented a lot of scriptures that they believe show that Jesus was raised back as a human being and that he will forever be a human being in heaven, supposedly with his former body of flesh glorified. The Bible actually nowhere presents such an idea, although that idea might be read into several scriptures. In this video, we will present briefly what the scriptures say concerning the kind of body that Jesus had when God raised him from the dead. The scriptures show that Jesus sacrificed his body of flesh with its blood as an offering to his God to offset the condemnation of death that is upon man through Adam. If Jesus still has that body of flesh, then Jesus' sacrifice was never completed, or he took back his sacrifice. Either way, it would mean that we would have no basis for salvation in his death. In 1 Timothy 2, verses 5 and 6, we read that the man, Christ Jesus, gave himself as a ransom, a corresponding price, for all. This could only be accomplished because God condemned all in the sin of the one man Adam. This we read about in Romans 5, verses 12 through 19, and also in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 21 and 22. As the condemnation in Adam would have been eternal, had there been no redemption from that condemnation, so the redemptive price needed to offset what Adam did would also need to be eternal. Thus, the sacrifice of the man Christ Jesus had to be an eternal sacrifice. It could not be taken back, once presented as an offering to God. In Luke chapter 22, verse 19, we read that Jesus spoke of giving his body on behalf of us. This is confirmed by Paul as written in 1 Corinthians 11:24. In Hebrews 10 verse 5 we read that God prepared this body for Jesus. Thus Jesus' body was not tainted with the sin of Adam. Jesus, thus, had the price necessary to offset the condemnation upon all mankind through Adam, if he, unlike Adam, remained obedient to his God. Paul informs us that Jesus did remain obedient to God until death, as recorded in Philippians 2 verse 8. Thus, we read in Hebrews 10 verse 10 that Jesus offered his body as an offering for sin once for all. Hebrews 10 verse 12 shows that he offered the sacrifice, after which he sat down on the right hand of his God. Ephesians 5 verse 2 and Hebrews 9 verse 14 show that Jesus made this offering to God. The finalization of this offering was made after Jesus ascended to his God in heaven. However, after God raised Jesus from the dead, there was a period of 40 days before he ascended. Jesus could not actually conclude that offering until he became the priest in heaven, for as Hebrews 8 verse 4 tells us, while on earth he would not be a priest at all. Thus the actual offering of the sacrifice to his God took place after he ascended. Therefore, before Jesus ascended to heaven, Jesus could certainly raise up his body of flesh for various appearances, as he foretold that he would do in John chapter 2 verses 19 through 21. If, however, Jesus still has that body of flesh, that would mean that the offering for sin was never fully accomplished, or that Jesus took back the eternal sacrifice needed. This kind of teaching thus would not be in harmony with the scriptures, and those who hold to such teaching have to create another basis for atonement than the eternal offering of the man, Christ Jesus. Such teachings would, in effect, be antichrist teachings, that is, a teaching that is instead of what is taught about Christ in the faith once delivered to the saints as found in the Bible. See the description of this video for links that present studies that discuss this in greater detail.